Controlling social media. Social media memes are an indicator of individual creativity and humor. They do not represent the corporate interests of Hollywood or government. They are the very essence of personal liberty. So you can learn the peculiarity that Roseanne Barr looks better in 2023 than pop star Madonna. But sometimes a person's observation threatens the powerful, and the powerful control social media. Mega corporations and government quickly realized that the dawn of the internet permitted an explosion of personal free expression, and that was a threat to their monopoly on information. You must only think the way they want you to, or you will be punished. This reached its zenith with the presidency of Donald Trump, where entire social media organizations censored all voices they deemed a threat to the order of things. For some reason, the order of things meant the ongoing power of the Democratic Party and the global left. A coincidence, to be certain. With the purchase of Twitter by billionaire Elon Musk, one would think social media companies would follow his example and open up dialogue as the free exchange of ideas. Far from it. The other companies are still very much controlled by the powerful elites, and they do not want your opinion unless they control it. This is the ongoing control of social media in 2023, and here's just one small example. This is the recent meme where someone simply noticed that old photos of the sea level around one specific monument, the Statue of Liberty, appeared to be unchanged from one century to the next. This simple observation and comparison, widely shared, was noticed by the powerful, so they swung into action. Hundreds of editors, reporters, and social media monitors worked long hours, possibly 60 to 80 hours a week, to sculpt a counter-narrative for why you should not believe your lying eyes. Their reality is what matters. Why? Because the government can't raise your taxes to combat climate change if you don't live every second of your life in mortal terror. So I decided to do a little test. Let's assume the meme that was widely circulated is lying or faked in some way, and that the fact checkers of Reuters and at USA Today are right. You can do this yourself right now. Google Statue of Liberty 2023. Simple enough, there are recent photos of the Statue of Liberty and its base and waterline of Ellis Island. Now Google Statue of Liberty 1923, one century ago. There it is there. Now post these pictures side by side on a social media platform. In less than 12 hours, an automatic algorithm or a social media employee assigned to monitor troublesome accounts has slapped a disclaimer on your post. Just two photos of the Statue of Liberty, no alteration of any kind, and yet the post elicited an automatic response by the powerful to perform a sort of soft censorship. They must always provide context if you attempt to change the narrative. The powerful don't want you to, to think. They do the thinking for you. Also, isn't this odd that it's important to control imagery in 2023? Haven't we been told for decades that the worst effects of sea level rise will only be apparent by the year 2100? The scientists themselves say we won't witness any changes like this until 2100 because it's important to control you today. There are a lot of people who are making billions of dollars fleecing world governments and their taxpayers to, quote, combat climate change, unquote. None of this wealth is earned, yet they believe they are entitled to your money and your opinion must be continually sculpted and controlled if they intend to keep that cash flow going. And keep it going they must, even if they appear to be goose-stepping totalitarians in the process. Money is all that matters to these people, 
and they abuse their power to keep separating you from your wallet. Thank you. Thank you.